Imagine you're an astronaut doing a spacewalk for routine maintenance on the International Space Station. You're calmly gazing at the beauty of Earth when suddenly you notice something odd. A piece of metal that you weren't expecting is hurtling toward you at 28,000 kilometers per hour. You don't have time to react. In space, even something as small as a paint fleck can be deadly. But wait a second, this is not how Earth looks like from above. It actually looks like this. We have made our planet's orbit a cosmic junkyard. This is the consequence of our poorly planned space missions resulting in dangerous amount of space junk. A threat to our future in space that we can no longer afford to ignore. Space exploration began with dreams of discovery. The launch of Sputnik 1 by the Soviet Union in 1957 marked humanity's first step into this new frontier. But what we didn't consider back then was the trail of debris we'd leave behind. Each rocket stage, every defunct satellite, and even discarded tools from spacewalks added to a growing problem space, debris. Today, over 100 million pieces of junk, ranging from defunct satellites to tiny screws, orbit our planet. These objects are a product of decades of unregulated space activity. Every collision creates more debris, leading to a cascading effect known as the Kessler syndrome, where space becomes so congested with debris that a single collision could trigger a chain reaction, making certain orbits unusable for generations. You might wonder, hey, if we don't see this debris from the surface of the Earth, why should we care? Why should I care? The truth is, space junk poses a serious threat to everything from communication satellites to space exploration. In 2009, a defunct Russian satellite called Cosmos 2251 collided with an active American one operated by Iridium Satellite LLC, and this collision created more than 3,000 additional pieces of trackable debris. This wasn't just a freak accident, it's a warning. Every piece of space junk is a bullet traveling at hypervelocity. Even something as small as a marble can cause catastrophic damage to satellites, disrupting GPS, weather forecasting, and even national security. For astronauts aboard the ISS, space junk is a constant threat. Any impact could absolutely be fatal. But it's not all bad news. The good news is that we're not standing still. Around the world, scientists, engineers, and space agencies are racing against time to solve this problem. The European Space Agency is working on a mission called Clear Space One, designed to capture and remove large debris using a giant robotic claw. Meanwhile, Japan's JAXA is experimenting with tether systems to drag debris into lower orbits, where it will burn up in the atmosphere. Even private companies are stepping in. Startups are exploring innovative solutions like using lasers to nudge debris out of orbit, or deploying nets to capture and deorbit it. But perhaps the most ambitious idea of all comes from the concept of space tugs, satellites designed to intercept and safely deorbit multiple pieces of debris. But cleanup alone isn't enough. Prevention is key. New satellites are being designed with deorbiting mechanisms, ensuring they don't contribute to the problem once their mission ends. The world's space agencies are collaborating more than ever, establishing guidelines to mitigate space debris. The United Nations Space Debris Mitigation Guidelines and International Treaties aim to make space exploration sustainable. The challenges are immense, but the stakes couldn't be higher. If we fail, we risk losing our ability to explore space and even endanger life on Earth. If we succeed, we'll ensure that space remains the ultimate frontier for generations to come. The future of space is in our hands. As we continue to push the boundaries of exploration, let's also commit to cleaning up the mess we've made. After all, space isn't just the final frontier, it's our shared cosmic backyard. And it's up to all of us to keep it clean, don't you think? Subscribe for more content like this.